A lot of fours on the board in the fourth. Welcome to an anatomy of a reversed call. We're in the fourth inning and Narvaez works himself into a 2-1 count. That pull past the glove of Voigt, just foul. And the Mets might want to challenge this call. And the umpires are going to confer before the Mets even challenge. The umpires getting together here. Check it out. I don't think Voigt touches it. Oh, I mean, that's, that's clearly a fair ball. I'm not quite sure. How oh, can you miss? I mean, that's not even close. What, I mean, that wasn't even close to being a foul ball. What is yeah. he doing? I mean, come on. That's a brutal I, call. Well, I, and Alan Porter, the crew chief, is going to bring Crank Council over. What their call is. We've all been there, made a big mistake even at work, and fortunately for the umpire here, it's correctable even without replay. Rule 802C allows umpires to consult after a play and change a call, and in doing so, take remedial action like placing runners where they think they would have ended up had the correct call been made as the initial call. Plate umpire Malinsky looks like he immediately knows it's a missed call, he has an angle too, and convenes the crew. Now the rule says no umpire is allowed to seek to reverse another umpire's decision unless asked to do so, but this isn't a 50-50 judgment call. It's 100% definitively incorrect on the foul ball. One of those where it's so obvious to everyone on both teams and the fans watching that if you left it alone, it would be a travesty to the game and the crew. So this is what we call a crew saver reversal. You're allowed to fix this kind of a call by rule and you explain it to both what managers. No, I just read Craig Council's lips. He said, who said it was foul? <laughs> With Jim Wolf and Mike Malinsky as Alan Porter gives the explanation to Craig Council. Buck's going to say, hey, great, it's a fair ball, but you need to place my runner at second base. Now, insofar as runner placement, which is part of this rule, we look at the initial call and try to figure out, okay, had he called it fair, where would this runner end up? We see the ball kicks out, and the determination is the runner would have stayed at first. We look at the replay. The base coach is telling the runner to stay on first before he realizes it's foul too, and that's why that call gets made that way. I think Alan Porter was giving him the opportunity to challenge if he wanted to, and Craig said, no, no, I'm, I'm good. You can challenge for placement of runners, but it doesn't gonna... appear as though Buck is going to make that challenge. If it was called fair all the way, Anderson would have had a play on it, and... Narvaez not a fast runner. That's an embarrassing call. What stands out to me is the initial fair flinch. Always trust your gut. This is not something that you want to do too often during the game, obviously, but if you do get it so horribly wrong, you can fix it. Visit us online at closecallsports.com, Twitter and Facebook, subscribe for more, and we'll see you on the site.